Breaking news out of Saginaw County where multiple agencies are on the scene of a fire that engulfed the condominium complex this afternoon and continues to burn at this hour. It's at Swan Valley Condominiums in Thomas Township. Let's get right out to TV5's Kendall Keys live at the scene. Kendall. David and Elise, it is just an awful scene here at the Swan Valley Condominiums. I don't know if you can see through the smoke here to Building C or what's left of it. It used to have at least 19 units. Smoke seems to just continue spreading to the point where it's even much worse than when I got here a few hours ago. The fire chief of Thomas Township tells me they first got the call at 430. First responders quickly determined they were going to need help and all of them still have a lot of work to do to get the flames and smoke under control. On our first arrival, we immediately called for what's called a second alarm to bring in more mutual aid partners. Uh, we quickly knew we had a fire that has, was uh, well developed. We quickly then went to a third alarm to bring in more and now we've even exceeded those. And just within an eye shot, I can see Bridgeport, Richland Township, Thomas Township, Saginaw Township, James Township, and the list just continues. There are still crowds of people here watching the flames take over this building, many of which are residents. I spoke to one man after he lost a lot of things that just can't be replaced. Uh, this was my mother's condominium, and in there we had gathered all of her mother, her mother's stuff and all of her things, and so all of the items of really most of the family sentimental value historic value or in that condo right now. He also told me one of his neighbors lost her two cats to the flames. So although the Thomas Township Fire Chief told me all of the residents were able to get out safely, still no word yet on pets. And as soon as the flames and smoke are extinguished, the investigation into what caused this begins. Reporting live in Thomas Township, I'm Kendall Keyes. It's going to be a long night for those firefighters. It already has been a long night. We wish them well. Kendall, thank you. People affected by the fire are being told they can shelter tonight at Hemlock High School. We'll have overnight updates on Wake Up tomorrow starting at 4.30.